Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have a quick little video. I wanted to show you what I got in the mail today. Uh, I am an ambassador for Adorn It and they're Diana Markham products. And Diana has a recipe stamp club every month. If you sign up for it, you get a recipe stamp and there are options for add-ons for an add-on stamp and there's also add-on papers. If you're part of the recipe stamp club and you were a member in August, you are getting these as well. Um, depending on if you subscribe to just the stamp or the stamp of the add-on or everything with the paper. So I just wanted to show you everything that I got and before I start breaking into it, so the first item is the main recipe stamp. This is one of Diana's most famous stamps. Um, this is the pumpkin bars one. I don't have this one in a wood block. I always wanted one, but on eBay, they go for crazy prices. So I am so glad that Adorn It has released this in the photopolymer stamps. So yeah, this is the pumpkin bar stamp, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. So it comes with this one, and then it comes with some super cute uh, other dies or other stamps too. So it comes with this pumpkin here that has a bow on it, and I love the curly vine on it as well. And then this one, look at this, pumpkin seeds. Can you see that? I know my light is giving a glare but it's a little package of pumpkin seeds with a drawing of a pumpkin and little hearts and seeds springing out of it. That has gotta be the cutest stamp I think I've probably ever seen. It's just so cute. And here's one of those seeds as a separate stamp. I, I'm sorry about the glare there, you guys, but um, once I make projects in these, it will hopefully look, um, you'll be able to see everything better. And then the other one is a corner stamp that has a leaf and then vines and a bow around it. So this is the main stamp of from August from the Recipe Stamp Club. So I wanted to show you that. And if you ordered the add-on as well, you will get this one. So this is the additional stamp set. And this one says Harvest and it's got a pumpkin on it. It's got some acorns and a leaf, a bird on top of the T, and each of the letters has decoration on them. Uh, H has like some cross hatchings on it. Um, it looks like some blanket, blanket stitching on the A and on the E. The V has cross hatching on it as well. Little X's on the R and the S, and then there is stitching on the T. Oh wow, this is really, really cute. I can't wait to work with this. And it'll be fun to color the letters like in different styles. You could even paper piece them because they're pretty big letters and I don't think you'd have too much of a problem fussy cutting those. So that is adorable. Um, it comes with this trail here, dash line trail. I always love those to add uh, if you have like a bee flying or some other kind of bug, it's nice to put a little trail there. Or you could even add that onto a pumpkin as like a vine, so that would be cute. Speaking of pumpkins, here are these two pumpkin stamps together and they have leaves on them and the vines and they're nice big fat pumpkins with the, with the different sections on them so you can color them differently or paper piece them. Here's a, a, an oak leaf with some acorns. Super cute, look at all the details on that stamp. These are beautiful and you know they're gonna stamp out nicely. Uh, there's the word pumpkin right there and look, pumpkin pie spice, that's another one of Diana's famous stamps. Uh, I always wanted that one as well but I could not afford the EB prices so this is great that they're in photopolymer too. So I'm so happy to have that and the hearts and the little spices springing out of the little, of the little spice tin. And then the last one on the add-on set is a leaf with a little saying on it that says, pumpkins and cider, hay rides with friends, hooray for autumn, the fun never ends. So adorable. I don't know if these were previously released on woodblock stamps, but I'm so glad to have them on photopolymer. So those are the two stamp sets that are available. I also received the paper. So this is another one of the add-ons and this is the August release of paper. And I can tell I'm going to love this already because I love the soft colors, the muted colors, there's tans and greens and golds. Let me just get this open. Okay, so these are the papers that come with the add-on set. And I think I have it upside down, yeah. Okay, so I love these strip 
papers because you can either use them as a full page like this you could use part of it you know if you want to cut like a four by four card you can use some of this or you can um, you know just cut out the strips and put them onto your cards or projects as well and this one has lots of different prints I'm assuming there these prints are in the rest of the stack but let's take a look uh, it's got the cute scarecrow with little pumpkin seed look he's got a little pumpkin seeds packet in his hat the same exact one from the stamp so this will be perfect uh, complement to the stamps and then there are those pumpkins there are some like little pumpkin seeds I love the touch of blue in here which is really nice this is harvest time there's like a uh, kind of like a twall style print there with little houses and pumpkins more uh, like just flourishes and designs there are some leaves with stitching around them and acorns and vines other pattern stripes and look kind of like a plaid and then there are the bigger scarecrows with the big pumpkin seeds stuck into their hat there's that little bird too love these scarecrow faces they're adorable and then you have the scallop lines here too so it would be nice to just cut this part out too so there's that page and these are double-sided these are really nice heavyweight pages the back is it looks textured it's that pretty blue kind of like a cornflower muted blue and it looks like it's linen so this will be a great background if um, if you you know don't want to use all the stripes and there are two of each so that's nice in case you wanted to do both of them but that blue goes back to the the blue in the scarecrows so two of those and then the next two are oh this is pretty it's kind of like like a plaid but like strips in a basket I'm not sure how to describe it, but isn't that, uh, it's very interesting. This would be a great background. Be great to cut these strips out individually with your paper trimmer, you know, really nice and easy. There's tans, like a dark orange, grays, uh, sage greens. And then the back, oh nice. This is that twally kind of pattern, which uh, is just like a sage green. And then the print is all in white. So I love this one. This is, I've never seen anything like this. I think this is really unique. It's got the cute country illustrations of the houses and pumpkins and leaves. And it's just so nice and cozy. Good for your fall projects. I'm excited to start using those. And then the next set are the, uh, these are, I assume these are pumpkin seeds. It's on a nice mustard background with the little red seeds that have black around them. So that's beautiful. Just kind of like a scattered print really nice and then the back are the leaves oh these are so pretty look at all the detail on those they're stitching around the leaves there's little acorns all the different patterns that are in the in the rest of the sheets and there's this is a uh, like bittersweet actually yeah oh i didn't realize that was bittersweet on those vines nice love bittersweet so two of those love the colors I cannot wait to get started on these and then there's this print too which is a uh, stripes with alternating squares of tan and like a like a burnt orange burnt sienna kind of color really nice from far away it's just kind of like a kind of acts as a solid you know so there's that one and then the back has the pumpkins and I love the colors there's that same burnt orange color a sagey green and a gray and they all have dark brown stems and vines and dark green leaves and it looks like a like a linen textured background so these are perfect complements to the stamps I can't wait to get started on these I just wanted to come on quick and show you what I got in my August design team package and hopefully you're in the August club and you're getting these too if you want to sign up for the Adornit recipe stamp club with Diana Markham's illustrations um, I'll leave the link down below you won't you won't be able to get these although if there's any available they'll be listed a la carte on their Adornit website but um, as far as the subscription goes, if you signed up now, you would be getting the September release, which will also be really nice, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll leave the links down below. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.